How's it going all? Welcome back to the channel. So recently I've been getting a lot of questions about whether I should buy I-bonds now or wait until the new interest rates come out on November 1st. Great question. And the answer is buy them right now. So if you already knew that, thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great rest of your day. But if you are interested in the nitty gritty of why buying I-bonds right now is the best option, let's dive right in. Now to catch everyone up to speed, I-bonds are government issued bonds with two interest rates. The first is the fixed interest rate, which does not change throughout the lifetime of the bond. And before 2008, the fixed interest rate typically ranged between one and 4%. But over the last 15 years, this rate has been between zero and 1%. Therefore, the fixed interest rate typically isn't very interesting for all of us right now. And the second factor is the variable interest rate. This rate changes every six months and is automatically adjusted to keep up with inflation. So if inflation is high as it is right now, these bonds will pay some amazing rates. And right now, Series I savings bonds are offering 9.62% APY for the next six months. And that's an insane return, especially considering that the S&P 500 on a good year offers 10% with a lot more risk. Now, if you are able to keep your I-bond for at least one year, you are guaranteed to get all of your money back plus interest, which means that you can never lose money as long as you don't sell your bond before that one year mark. And with I-bonds, you're getting that really incredible return with practically zero risk, especially considering that the US government has an almost zero chance of defaulting on its debt. Additionally, the interest you earn is exempt from state and local income taxes. You can also defer your federal taxes until you sell the bond or until the bond matures in 30 years. And finally, you can even exempt yourself from taxes entirely if you use these I-bonds to pay for certain higher education expenses. So I-bonds can be a really good low risk option for great returns and tax savings. Additionally, I-bonds will never pay below 0%. So if we enter a deflationary environment where inflation numbers are negative, the lowest we can go is 0%. And that's really good, especially if we enter that time where banks might even be paying us negative interest rates. In fact, I-bonds are so good that the US government only allows us to buy up to $10,000 each calendar year. That being said, there are a couple ways around that by buying bonds as gifts for children and relatives or by setting up trust and business accounts to buy more I-bonds. And that's definitely a topic for a separate video, but for most of us, we're going to buy up to $10,000 each calendar year, which don't get me wrong, is a lot of money and getting that 9.62% guaranteed return for six months is a great option. Now, another limitation is that you must hold your I-bond for at least five years to realize that full rate. The rules state that if you sell your I-bond after the first year, but before the five-year mark, you will lose out on the last three months worth of interest. It's not a very big deal considering that your total return would still be quite high even if you lose out on three months worth of interest, but it's still something to be aware of. And of course, if you don't anticipate needing this money for the next five years, I-bonds are an amazing option to get guaranteed returns that are automatically adjusted to keep up with inflation. But back to the main question, should you buy I-bonds now or later? The current I-bond rate for October is 9.62% APY for the next six months. And on November 1st, these rates will likely decrease to an estimated 6.48%. Yes, it's lower, but it's still a very good guaranteed return. Now, if you buy your I-bond before October 28th, you will lock in that 9.62% APY for the next six months or October through March. Then you'll get 6.48% APY for April through September. It's also worth noting that even if you buy I-bonds at the end of the month, you will still get that full month's worth of interest. However, if you buy them later or after November, you'll lock in that 6.48% for November through April. We don't know what the interest rates will be after that, but most likely it's not going to be as high as the 9.62% that we have right now. And that's because inflation is not likely to be persistently high. 
Yes, there are going to be times like today where high inflation is a problem. However, with good monetary policies by the US government, inflation will likely fall to a much more comfortable level for most consumers. And at the end of the day, buying I-bonds now is generally the better option than buying them later or after November 1st. And finally, I do want to give a big shout out to all the channel members. Thank you so much for financially supporting this channel and a big thank you for all the subscribers. You make this hobby super fun. Anyways, that's about it. See ya.